Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss whether it's worth studying at LSE. And we're going to divide this video into four short and sweet sections. In the beginning, we will revisit what LSE is. Then I'm going to share my personal story um, of being a student at this university. And at the end, we're going to weigh pros and cons of studying at LSE. So are you ready? I hope you are because I am so, so ready. Let's begin. So LSE stands for London School of Economics and Political Science. And it's arguably one of the best schools to study at in the UK and actually in the whole world. You can find many different departments, many different subjects, but the most popular are the ones to do with economics and, as you might have guessed, political science. The university attracts a lot of students from around the world. The majority of them are international students. And I think the experience varies a little bit depending which uh, subject you are studying. So, for example, if you would be studying anthropology, would, your experience would differ quite substantially, I suppose, if you would study finance. And having said that, the campus is very lovely. It's based in central London, one of my favorite locations because it's so close to Covent Garden and Soho. And they're renovating a lot of buildings, so I think it's going to look even, even better. So if we turn to my experience at LSE, I did a two-year master's program with SEMS Exchange. I spent some time at LSE and then some time at another university. So my experience in general was great. I think I have uh, mixed feelings about the, this master's. Um, that's why I would like to share my pros and cons with you for those who are thinking whether to go to LSE. Just before we go to the video, I would like to say that no matter what I'm going to say today, I really hope that you are going to make your own choice, evaluating what you want to get out of those studies and what you want to achieve as a person in your life. So this is only one person's mind opinion, and I really encourage you to search within yourself to find the answers, whether this degree is going to be what you expect it to be. Let's talk about cons first, and then we're gonna go to the bright side at the end of the video. So first of all, let's talk about values. And I'm going to talk about those values from the perspective of a student of uh, management, and I'm sure other students might feel LSE and experience LSE a little bit different. So being a master's in management student, it really meant that I had to focus on my career after LSE. As a student, I've been told that my life is going to be a success only if I'm going to go into specific roles, as for example, uh, being a consultant or being an investment banker. So if I achieve that after LSE, all this was a success and my life is a success. So I started studying with this mindset and everyone around me embraced it, you know, from professors to fellow students, this felt that this is a dream and this is what we need to achieve. And it was kind of reinforced by everyone around me applying for those roles. I wasn't given a choice of thinking about different jobs and different roles. And there is nothing wrong with being a consultant or investment banker. I think it's an incredibly difficult job. So whoever is doing that, do it. Um, but for me, I felt that I wanted some alternatives or I didn't even know that there is an alternative, that my thinking was so reinforced of this is what I need to aim for, nothing else. And it honestly took me five years after LSE to find myself. <laughs> I was doing those roles that I've been told that I will enjoy and this is what my life should be about. And I was feeling very, very sad. Secondly, as you might know, LSE is very much focused on theory. And whereas it's not 
but in essence it's amazing to know where things are coming from or who created what but having said that if you would like some more practical uh, courses or practical projects um, I think LSC has still some room of improvement to achieve that uh, having said that we have some projects when we had to do real-life consulting to other companies but still it was very much focused on this theoretical side and the practical side whereas for example at Sydney University I studied a course about agile and every single lesson was practical and I, 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 I kid you not to, the, to this day I'm using some of the methods and workshop techniques that I learned there six years ago uh, now on my clients at work. So the last thing I would like to touch upon are the people itself and this topic has two sides. One side I'm going to address, address now and another side I'm going to address a little bit later. So for my degree um, it brought very like-minded people. So even if LSE is saying that they are very diverse and I believe they are maybe in nationalities or maybe in gender which is fantastic but what I liked was diversity in thinking a little bit it seemed that a lot of people are coming from the same background of doing a very similar batch of bachelors and having a very very similar ambition in life what to achieve so and being overly competitive <laughs> um, whether it's good or bad we can we can have another discussion about that so being in a group of very like-minded people it was very hard to find myself or propose something different okay so now let's go to the bright side what was good about my experience at LSE so as I have just mentioned before let's talk about the people so the people was the greatest gift for me from this university or specifically the network because I've done the double master's degree with SEMS the SEMS network is fantastic I am sure that I will always have a friend anywhere in the world because of that I'm very grateful to LSE for enabling me to go and do the second master's and for all the connections that I made there secondly LSE brand is really on point Wherever I went and whoever I spoke to, every time I mentioned LSE, they already had some kind of um, expectations of <laughs> excellence or expectations of perfection or, I don't know, quality work from me because I went to that university. For example, when I went to Sydney University and I um, told my newly met friends that I am from LSE University, they, the majority of them jokingly said, Oh my gosh can you please be in my team because i'm sure we're going to get good grades working together i don't know whether it helped me to um, get to companies that i'm working at now because i think um, brand is one thing but your personality and what you do with everything you have learned is absolutely another thing so brand might help you maybe a little bit um, but i think it's all that you do with it that really makes a difference lastly LSD really took me out of my comfort zone and it is amazing because I think people learn when they are out of their comfort zones and I have learned so much because I think being more creative person um, the finance and economic modules were quite out of my comfort zone <laughs> being very frank with you I'm so grateful for my fellow students, for all of those who helped me and I had the patience to explain things over and over again for me to get it because it was a little bit harder for me. Uh, but nonetheless, LSE is very good at actually bringing uh, new perspectives and bringing you out of your comfort zone and, and enabling you to learn more. What would be my concluding thoughts? I think no matter what decision you are making, I would like you to start with yourself. Ask yourself what you really want to get out of this life. That's your mom, dad, guy on the television, your priest, grandmother in the supermarket, but you. 
What do you actually want to get out of this life? What do you want to actually get out of LSE? So, whether I would do it again? Probably yes. Whether I would do it differently? 100% yes. <laughs> what, I would do, what I would do differently is I would focus more on me and what I want than what other people tell me that I want. And that, that's the greatest learning for me. I think one of the greatest learnings of my life. So I thank LSE for that. And I thank all of my friends and fellow students for that as well. So I hope it was useful. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will try to answer them all. But for now, have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.